Hey everyone, I am filming a get ready with me. Um, I am doing um, an interview today and it's not for a different job. It's for a different job title, but it's not for a different workplace. It's like for a promotion at work. Um, more of like a leader position type of job. Um, I could always use more practice. Um, doing job interviews. I haven't done one in probably about a year or so. I really like my current job, which is why I really am nervous. Um, I don't know why I'm nervous, actually. I really am content in the current position that I'm in. Um, by the way, I used my crown shop um, brush or comb brush to brush my hair right now and clean my circle ponytail. I should have brought some mousse though. And then I have a post basil drip. So that's gross. But I wanted to do this in the hope of hoping that this would calm me down a bit. I haven't done a um, vlog in a long time. I have posted a video. Um, uh, what's been happening with me that I haven't posted a video. Um, things are going really well. I do have packages that I need to unbox. However, I have a feeling that I might be coming down carpal tunnel. I have, today is Thursday, February 22nd. I have an appointment on Monday, February 26th with my primary care physician to see what's going on. Um, so sometimes I just like don't want to do anything just because like my wrists hurt and like my arm hurts and even my fingers hurt and I try to do a massage um, and then on Sunday, February 18th and she did a really wonderful job. I love her. I would highly recommend her to friends and family, but um, the pain still persists. So. I'm not saying like it's depressing me, but it's really bumming me out. And I feel like it's kind of getting in the way of me wanting to do anything. As far as like trying to film or anything. I haven't done like my makeup in a long time. And I have this Tarte Cosmetic Face Tape. Um, I don't know if it'll match my face. I'm kind of nervous of using it. I'm like, almost two months off of the Accutane. I'll go ahead and use it though. I didn't have to bring my primer. Um, and because of the Accutane, I haven't really gotten a lot of sun. So I'm not even sure if this matches anymore. This is actually from, I bought this from when I went on my trip to Korea like five years ago. So it's probably, not even that great to be using but i want to use up what i have before i buy anything else probably hopefully something closer to my color but yeah that's just my life update and i don't know i kind of i'm not trying to say like i'm getting depressed or anything it's just a bummer and i feel like i'm becoming a little bit reclusive I want to retract and kind of like keep things kind of like lighthearted. But um, for the most part, like I'm all right. I just, and I feel bad because I've had like two back to back three day weekends for like work holidays. And I definitely have time to um, film, but laziness and catching up on rest and then this carpal tunnel thing just really threw me in a full loop. So hopefully maybe this weekend I can go ahead and do that. Um, let me see. So now let me, I have the NYX Cosmetics. Let's see, it's the eyeshadow face base or just eyeshadow base. And I put the base on And I'm not by any means a professional makeup artist, but I was just gonna do this in hopes that it will calm down my nerves. I 
use a color pop this um color is okay literally the name of the color is okay since it is for a job interview i don't want to make it too intense i just want to keep it subtle and the interview is like in about 15 minutes i think i have time to do my makeup and talk to y'all seems to be helping i don't feel as nervous for like it felt like my heart was gonna jump out of my chest and these are morphe brushes that my cousin bought me for my birthday one year okay i'm excited because i'm gonna get my hair dyed on the 6th on um march 6th i'm gonna get rid of these gray hairs yeah, so this is Laura Mercier base primer, but usually I would use this, but I'm also kind of like in a rush. Now I'm going using the Maybelline Brow Precise Illuminator Perfection. I forgot my eyebrow color, so, which is fine because I don't even have my usual eyebrow color that I like actually oh i have like this this i don't even i think i stole it from my aunt i don't know what brand it is i just want to make my eyebrows a little darker last month we went to a live podcast and i hated the picture because you couldn't even see my eyebrows that's how thin they are but that was a style of the early 2000s now i look like a clown but i'm gonna soften it up hopefully that's better it's too dark but it's fine and then now i'm going with nyx cosmetic ice queen um highlighter on my cheek bones and on my nose and on my chin and in between my eye eyes like the inner corner of my eye i'm going to use this maybelline mineral power naturally luminous flush in original rose on my cheeks give me some life into them This puff was actually a gift from a coworker. And this is not a makeup tutorial. Like I said, it's just to ease my nerves. And then this is the Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline Mascara. I'm not gonna even bother with eyeliner right now and i wish i knew what brand this eyelash color was to shop them out not that this is sponsored or anything but just in case y'all were wondering and then as far as for my lips mm, let me do the color pop make a wish collab in 18 j2 can't recall. I can't recall her name, but it was the Make a Wish Foundation collab. I believe this is they were granting a wish to a child. And I bought this in 2018. I remember because I wore this in New York for Ching's showcase. I look forward to talking to you guys soon and hopefully I can do the unboxing soon-ish. Hopefully this weekend. I'm going to try my best. Okay, love you guys. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.